Hi, it's Louisa Tanner-Munson from Feel Good Astrology and um, I recently purchased Solar Fire Gold version 9 and also the Asteroid add-on and I feel quite pleased with myself really. <laughs> it kind of means something that I've got Solar Fire Gold so I'm, I'm kind of quite excited and really enthusiastic to use it in the same way as um, I currently use Astrodeinst um, or Astro.com. I always use a lot of asteroids when I'm um, working with different clients and looking up different asteroid sets according to what my clients need or ask me about or key words that come up in the briefing that they give me. And so I bought the asteroid add-on um, for Solar Fire, but quickly just within uh, working with a few uh, clients realised that there were some asteroids that I really wanted to use that, I, that weren't on the list. So I went to the um, Solar Fire um, Astrology group on on Facebook. Um, can't remember the exact title of the group, sorry, um, but there are plenty of them. And I had a look around some other threads, and this seems to be quite a common theme amongst um, Solar Fire users. And so I tried to follow the instructions and the threads, and there's so many people. I mean, astrologers are such generous and helpful people in sharing their um, ideas and, um, you know, sharing their know-how. But we all have really different learning styles. And for me, I have to do it. And it's much easier if I can observe someone doing it via video. And so when I cracked it this morning, um, having followed a few threads, but also having a really good email um, uh, conversation with Zane Stein, who works for Esoteric Technologies, um, I was able to finally crack this <laughs> this thing with solar fire and adding in an extra asteroid or two so I thought um, it was only fair you know other people have helped me so here's a video version of how to do it so no doubt if you've got um, solar fire um, version 9 um, I don't know what the other versions are like um, and you've got the asteroid add-on then you can see what asteroids you've got so if I go to chart options go to files and then asteroids files. You've probably got a list very much like this with these um, lists of asteroids and standard asteroids. Um, and if you were to click there, it would give you the full list of what you've got, something like 9,700 asteroids. Um, I've set up a little new um, folder that I'm putting some of my um, asteroids I like to currently use or that I've been using with clients recently. So I'm going to bring that one up. Um, by clicking on edit and you should see right now I've got 9,740 available asteroids um, and you can look um, you, on an A to Z basis which is what it's currently set to or by number. Now I'm going to click on number in this instance purely because I want to find um, an asteroid that isn't listed here. Okay, So if we go down this list uh, um, or asteroid number seven, which I believe is Iris, isn't on there. Um, I think it's Iris anyway. Or there's in between, um, all the 60s are gone. You know, there, there's no, no asteroids in the 60s. So let's have a look and see if we can find an asteroid in the 60s. So I'm just going to cancel there um, and cancel that as well. And now I'm going to actually do a bit of a search. Now, obviously, if you were using astro.com and you knew what you were looking for, like a particular asteroid, you could search for the name um, under all these letters and find the particular asteroid that you want. Um, but obviously, we're going to have to do something different to add it into Solar Fire. But if you got the number that you're looking for, that's the first thing, I guess. But there's a really great link that astro.com um, have basically got all their folders stored online so you can actually select the asteroid folder that you're looking for, the file that you're looking for, and then copy it and put it into Solar Fire. So that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to look for, let's say, um, asteroid number 61. Okay, and before you start looking, it's really important to know how these folders in this link are organized. So if you scroll down, you'll see there's um, AST0, AST1, AST2, AST3, and if I search, scroll all the way down, it goes down to um, AST, 
999. I went faster there. Um, and then if you look in each folder, basically it, it rep each of those folders represents a thousand asteroids. So the first one in that folder is nine, uh, 999001. Then it's 0020304. So these are asteroids with absolutely astronomical numbers. <laughs> But I'm looking for asteroid 61, um, which is in the first 1,000 um, asteroids. So if I look in the asteroid 0 folder, I should find it. So let's have a look. So let's scroll down until I find asteroid 61, and there it is. So you click on that and click Save File. And then I should be able to find it in my Downloads folder. So let's have a look. There it is, there's 61. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it, because all I'm gonna do is paste it into the Asteroid 01 folder on Solar Fire. So let's see how easy that is to do. So here you go to Utilities, Open Swiss Ephemeris Files folder, and then you should have um, a mirror image of all of these asteroid folders right up to asteroid 999 that you actually had on this link from astro.com so you'll see you've got the same folders and the trick um, I believe <laughs> is to put your um, a new file into the right folder so I got it from ast0 so let's click in here and if I have a look, you'll see that there is a gap between 55 and 71. So I've got asteroid 61. I'm just going to right click and paste. And you'll see it's just inserted itself just in the right place there. So that's all done. And you'd think, you might think, in fact, I thought <laughs> that that was all I needed to do. But there is another step that you need to do that's really vital. So the next thing we do, so we go back to chart options. Go to Files and Asteroids Files. Now I'm going to go into my new plan. Ast it doesn't really matter which folder you're going into. Um, but what we should see is that we've got all of our asteroids here. Now, if you remember at the start, I had 9,740 asteroids, but I've just added one in. It's not there. It's not showing. Um, and I can prove to you it's not showing by doing it in number form. And you'll see between 55 and 71, it's not showing yet. So what we have to do is just make sure that we're clicking on the Swiss ephemeris location and then click refresh list. And you'll get this solar fire message to say it's going to look for all asteroid files of this type and refresh the list of available asteroids. So click OK. And then we just need to wait a few moments while um, solar fire catches up. And we'll know when it's done because um, you'll see that you've got 9,741 asteroids and the new one should be inserted in there. So that this is literally the last um, step <laughs> in doing this. And is it there yet? Something just flashed up. Oh, I'm nervous. There it is, 9,741. Um, and it's, it's in order. And there it is, asteroid Danae, um, asteroid number 61. Now, because I want to put it in my selected asteroid or selected etherical body list, all I need to do is click on it and you'll see it's gone into my list. So whenever I want to use it, it's, it's there in an easy to find list. And just click save. And that is your asteroid that you've just added. So <laughs> um, I hope this is really useful. Um, it's actually quite simple uh, and even though it's really simple when I was reading the instructions in all the different threads I was just getting more and more confused so hopefully if you're a visual learner like I am um, hopefully now you'll be able to do do all of this quite easily and find all the asteroids that you're hoping for so um, I just wanted to thank Zane <laughs> Because if it wasn't for Zane helping me, I just would never have done this or, or got there. And um, thanks very much to all the Facebook groups that um, are set up to help people. So like I said, astrologers, really useful. And I'm hoping this little bit of um, guidance is useful to you too. Take care.